Problem 9.3, this is about uh, solubility product constant. So, PSP, solubility product constant is one of the form of equilibrium constant. So, for 9.1 and 9.2, uh, it involves the ionization of water. So, that is KW. So, KW is one of the equilibrium constant. And the other one is ESP. So if you have solid and it will be dissolved in liquid, either water or an aqueous solution, so you will be able to determine the solubility product or the molar solubility of the solid. And there is a, the constant, which is the solubility product constant, the ESP, which can be found in Appendix 2. Okay, please uh, op open your book, your your uploaded uh, textbook, and can be checked on Appendix 2. So, Appendix 2, those are the the different solubility product constant of different solids. So, we have here barium iodate. We are asked to determine the amount of barium iodate in grams that will be dissolved in 500 ml of water at 25 degrees Celsius. So if you have 500 ml of water, what is the amount of barium iodate that can be dissolved in 500 ml of water? So we are going to solve that one. So first we have the, the equation that is barium iodate. So once it is in water, of course, it will dissolve. And the state of barium iodate is you have two here. The state of barium iodate is solid. So this is your solid at room temperature. So once it is in water, it will be ionized into barium ion. Barium is plus 2. And the iodate ion, IO3, that is negative 1. Before you're going to proceed, of course, you have to balance the equation. So we will have two moles of two moles of iodate ion, one mole of the barium. Take note, this is solid. So if you are going to to write the equilibrium constant expression, so this will be K. So this is equilibrium constant expression will be equal to the product of the concentration of the product so that is concentration of the barium ion this is plus 2 times the concentration of iodate ion that's negative 1 and since the the amount of iodate is 2 moles so this will be raised to the power of 2 barium is 1 only amount of barium is 1 so raised to the power of 1 divide by the concentration of barium iodate but this is solid but anyway we're, we're going to write it anyway so you will have barium iodate okay now this one is solid at room temperature so this will not be included in the expression so if you are going to cross multiply so this will be the equilibrium uh, constant expression would be equal to we just multiply this one so you will have barium iodate to and this is solid at room temperature will be equal to this one uh, concentration of barium ion times the concentration of iodate ion negative one squared this one, since this is solid, so the constant here is KSP. Solubility product constant. So this one will no longer be included because this is in the, it is in the pure state, which is solid. So that will be equal to the concentration of barium ion times the concentration of iodate ion raised to the power of 2 or squared. So the question here is you are going to determine the amount of barium iodate 
that will be dissolved in 500 ml of water. So first thing that you are going to do is we have to determine the molar solubility of molar solubility of barium iodate. So we have to determine this one. So since that is molar, the unit will be in moles per liter or molarity. Okay? Now there is a technique in solving the this kind of problem when it comes to solubility. We call it the ice table. Okay, we will use this one. So first we have to rewrite the equation. So this is the equation. So you have barium iodate. This is solid will ionize into barium ion and iodate ion. And of course, we have to balance the equation. So you will have two moles of iodate ion. So we will be using the technique, we call it the ice table. So meaning ice, you will have I. Meaning of I is initial. Then we have the C, that is actually the change. And we have E, this is actually at equilibrium. Okay, so initially we will be talking here of the concentration. So initially there is no concentration of Bario because it will be dissolved in water. So this will be zero. This will be zero. Now initial concentration of the barium ion and the iodate ion. Again, since it is just dissolved in water. Now what about the change? How much is being removed? How much is being added? We do not know. So we are going to let it as X. So, if that is from the reactant, that will be always negative. So, we are going to let X as the molar amount or the molarity that is being removed or dissolved. And, of course, this one will be positive. How much of the barium ion is being uh, ionized? So, we do not know. So, we let that one as X. That is the concentration of the barium ion. Since it has only one mole, so times one. For the iodate ion, that will be also X molarity or molar. Since you have two moles, so that will be multiplied by two. Okay? Now, at equilibrium, all you have to do is just add the initial and the change. Add. So, I might as well put a horizontal line so that you will be able to identify. So all you have to do is just add this one is zero. So you have only x. This one here is you have 2x. So if you are going to determine the concentration or the molar concentration of barium ion, that would be equal to x. If you are whatever is the amount of x, that will be the concentration of the barium ion. If you are going to determine the concentration of the iodate ion, so that will be the computed value which is X, then you multiply it with 2. Now, since the concentration of barium ion and barium iodate is the same, 1 is to 1, so whatever is the concentration of the barium ion or the one that we will be computing, the value X, that would be also the molar solubility of the barium ion. Okay? Because that is just one. Next is we are going to write the expression. So the PSP, so we'll have now PSP of the barium iodate will be equal to the concentration of the barium ion, this is plus 2, times the concentration of the iodate ion, that's negative 1, and since it is, it has 2 moles, 
you raise this one to the power of 2. Okay? Now, ESP of barium iodate at 25 degree Celsius, you can find the value it's constant. That is 1.57 times 10 to the negative 9 at 25 degree Celsius can be referred it to a pentix 2. And since that is uh, constant, it has no unit. Okay? So, KSP value has no unit. Same with KW for water, it has no unit. So, at 25 degrees Celsius, the KSP or the solubility product constant of barium iodate is given as 1.57 times 10 to the negative 9 from appendix 2. Will be equal to the concentration of barium ion that's at equilibrium, that's X, that's a known. X times the concentration of the iodate ion that is at equilibrium that is 2x. Okay? 2x. The ion square. Okay? So simplifying algebra, we can solve for x. So this will be 1.57 times 10 to the negative 9 is equal to 2x squared. That is 4x squared times x. So that will be 4x cubed. Okay? So again, 2x squared is equal to 4x squared times x. So that is 4x cubed. So take 4x, so you will have x cubed is equal to 1.57 times 10 to the negative 9 divide by 4 and that is equal to or we can have it directly written as x will be equal to the cube root take note cube root of 1.57 times 10 to the negative 9 over 4 and x is equal to okay cube root of 1.57 exponent negative 9 divide by 4 and you take the root so actually this one is 3.925 times 10 to the negative 10 and you take the cube root and that is 7.32 or you can have it written as 7.322 that is molar okay so therefore so I'll proceed here I'll proceed here so therefore this is just equal to 7.322 is also equal to the concentration of the barium ions. So if you are going to determine the to determine the concentration, so if you are going to determine concentration of barium ion, that is just equal to X. And that is 7.3 times 10 to negative 4. 7.322 times 10 to the negative 4 molar. If you are going to determine the concentration of, of iodate ion, that would be equal to 2x. And that is 2 times 7.322 times 10 to the negative 4. But in this case, it is not being asked in the problem. But it will be, I'll just show it to you. 1.464 times 10 to the power of negative 3 molar. Okay? So the question here is the amount of barium iodate that is being dissolved in 500 ml of water. So before you can solve for the amount of barium iodate in grams, you must be able to know first the molar solubility of barium iodate. So the molar solubility of barium iodate 
is just equal to x, which is also the same with the concentration of the barium ion, which is 7.322 times 10 to the negative 4. So therefore, the molar solubility of barium iodate is equal to x which is 7. Point, I will not write x 7.322 times 10 to the negative 4 molar okay this is not the answer yet because molar that is moles per liter of the solution so we have to determine the amount of the amount of barium iodate, iodate that will be dissolved in 500 ml of water. So, change direction. I hope you have this one. Continue with the other side of the world. So, from there, From there, so we would be able to solve for the amount of barium iodate in grams. Grams of barium iodate that will be dissolved in 500 ml of water. So from the molar solubility of barium iodate that is computed as 7.322 times 10 to the negative 4. What is the unit? Molar expanded form so that is moles per liter so you have 500 ml of water just multiply this one with the molarity so that we would be able to get the grams so that is molarity is given not molarity the molar mass of barium iodate is 400 third, 487 that is gram per Mole. So you can cancel out the mole. That is 487 gram per liter. So whatever is the value here, that is the amount of the the amount of the barium iodate that will be dissolved for every one liter. But that's only 500 ml. So you multiply this one by 0.5 liters. Change that one to liters. So the amount is. Use your calculator to 7.322 exponent negative 4 times 487 times, times 0 0.5. So the amount is 0.178 grams of barium iodate. So this is the amount of barium iodate that will be dissolved in 500 ml of water. So in that case, that is saturated solution. You will uh, have a saturated solution. But if you will have more than this amount, then there will be there will be undissolved barium iodate. Okay. So this is the amount of barium iodate that can be dissolved in 500 ml of water. So that is problem 9-3. Fighting! <laughs> Got that dog.